So I read an article before coming that I thought that they stopped the Orca shows uh, in 2017. So um, I don't know. They might have changed the style of the show to not, you know, yeah. put people in danger. Well, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll how see. This is one in a million. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Travel Wednesdays. Today we continue the adventures in San Diego and we are here at SeaWorld. I'm so excited because I've never been here. I actually went to the one in Florida and Anthony doesn't remember anything whatsoever, right? No, it's been a really long time. There weren't any rides here when I was here, so. And yeah, I have vague memories of when I was about four, so this is gonna be a new experience for all of us. So let's go check it out together. This is very different. The entrance is right here. It's kind of like more Disney World, Disneyland-y. The entrance that I remember in Orlando, it was kind of like you were going into a building and it had a shark's mouth. And I remember being like four years old, like super afraid, like, cause I hate sharks. Oh, and it was like ready to bite you, looking down on you. This is the first thing we see. It's pretty cool. It's very open and different from the other SeaWorld. The other SeaWorld was like mostly all indoors. Oh. It was like a bunch of like aquarium. Oh. Yeah. At least from what I remember. I'm sure a lot of indoors areas here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the map seemed pretty cool, so uh, looking forward to that and seeing what we saw on the map like in real life and checking out some of the rides with you guys. There's a lot of touch labs right here, right away in the entrance. Oh, it's just fish. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> aggressive when they eat. Ooh. Ooh. It's coming at me. So we're here now to see the controversial orca show. Uh, so I read an article before coming that I thought that they stopped the orca shows. Uh, in 2017, so um, I don't know. They might have changed the style of the show to not, you know, yeah. put people in danger. Well, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. see. How see. Is. We'll see what happens. 
Yeah. Welcome to SeaWorld's Orca Encounter. My name is Vicki and I'm honored to introduce you to these intriguing and majestic animals. Up and out of water. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. His blowhole is perfectly positioned to grab a quick breath of air at the surface of the water. So, they took away the divers portion of the show, but basically the show is still the same. It's still there. The orcas are there. And what they're doing is they're focusing more on the health of the orcas, how they work in the wild, showcasing yeah. that. Education um, stuff, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so biology it's, of the whales and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. So it's very much more about the orcas than making it more of a like a circus. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so it's it's definitely like not abusing the orcas and they're like they're still doing like you know tricks and stuff. Yeah. but it, it was all relevant to like things that they already they do, do in yeah. the wild. So and people got that's really nice. wet <laughs> in the soap zone. Yeah, so, <laughs> so glad we weren't there. No, no. <laughs> So after seeing some really cool shows, now it's finally time to eat and I ordered the sustainable fish tacos. Here I'm going to try them, it looks like they're beer battered and they have some pico de gallo, cabbage slaw, so it looks really good. Let's see. Mm. Mm. It's tasty. Simple for theme park food, but still really tasty and I recommend it. Especially since it's in theme with SeaWorld. Got it? Okay. Wow. Stick close. against each other. Oh, they're like squishy. Yeah. so that's the end for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it it was so much fun to come here with you guys especially since it was my first time and pretty much anthony's first time as well uh, we learned so much about sea world and about conservation like for example how sea world actually takes care of more than 400 different species of animals which is amazing and how you can call SeaWorld if you see any animals in danger in the wild in the ocean. So 
I hope you guys learned a lot today as much as we did. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with my channel so that you don't miss a video. Make sure to like this video as well so that I know you like it and I keep making content just like this for you guys. And also comment down below, let me know which part you like the best. I love the belugas and the cute little whale in the whale and dolphin show that looked like a submarine. He was so adorable. <laughs> also make sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so that you guys know when my next episode is coming out and what's going to be coming up on this series. And before you stop watching, I'll leave you with the nighttime spectacular Cirque Electric. Enjoy guys. See you in the next one.